So in the last video, what we have seen is we have seen a collection interface using an array list class. So array list is a class which implements list and indirectly each list extends collection. So array list is actually the implementation of collection interface. So we have added four elements and we have seen the size which is four and then we were printing all the values from the collection using enhanced for loop. But the problem is, what is this object here? Object is a class in Java. So by default, every element in Java or every class in Java is, is a subclass of object class. So if you write the class like class demo test, so by default, somewhere here you have written extends object. Okay, so by default, all the classes in Java, they are, they are a subclass of object class. So the collection values by default are of object type because in Java, we have something called as wrapper classes. Now, we'll talk about wrapper classes in detail. In the, uh, we have already done that in one of the tutorial. So in wrapper classes, we have uh, uh, classes like integer, we have float, we have character. All these classes, they extend object class. So it doesn't matter which type of object you have in this collection, every object here is a type of object, okay? Now, let's say, instead of printing all the values, I want to print only one value. I want to print the value which is 8 now. Unfortunately, in collection interface, we don't have any method which will give me that one value. Now, what we can do is, we can use something called as a new interface, which is not a collection, which is a list. Now, list is a Again, an interface in collection which indirectly extends collection. And we can specify a list and list belongs to a package again. It is java.util and we can say dot list. Now, to add the elements in the, in the list, so see, no, it's, not, no, it's not now collection, it's a list now, right? So we have the same method called as add in list also. But what about fetching? So instead of printing all the values, what we will do is we'll fetch the value which is 8. So let me just comment this part so that it will not execute it. So comment and this is comment. Now to print only one value, we'll use system.out.println. And you can see in this list, we have a method. In this list, we have a method called as get. Now get ask you for index number, the same thing we have done in arrays. And we have to say index number is 2, which specify it's an index number 2, which is, this is index number 0, index number 1, and index number 2. And if I run this, if I say run as application, uh -oh, I guess there's an error. I don't understand. Uh oh, I finished it wrong. wrong place. I should have declared it after this bracket. So this is slash. This is star slash. Okay, if I run this now, <coughs> the output is 8, right? So using index number 2, we can fetch our element which is 8 here. Simple. Now let's, we, let's print all the elements. To print all the elements, instead of using this uh, one element here, what we can do is we can again uh, use this enhanced for loop to print all the elements. And now if I run this, I will get all the elements which were there in the collection. So collection and list are almost same. So list is a sub interface of collection with extra features, extra features like a method called as get. Okay. So in the next tutorial, we'll talk about how to remove these warnings here, why we are getting these warnings.